I want to speak to you this morning from the scripture reference, um, Jeremiah 31 and verse 26. Jeremiah 31 and verse 26 says this. Um, it says, uh, after this, I awoke and looked around and my sleep was sweet to me. Did you hear that? After this, I woke and looked around and my sleep was sweet to me, the Bible says. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you this morning about getting some rest. Get some rest. Amen. Get some rest. I, I was fortunate enough to be in a, a special ceremony ceremony this past Saturday and um, the, t the title of the message was rest was rest and 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 god gave us give, gave us this inspiration this morning get some rest get some rest i woke i awoke and looked around the new king james version said i awoke and looked around and my sleep was sweet sweet to me sweet to me jeremiah said i i awoke and looked around and my sleep was sweet to me listen sometimes the most helpful thing sometimes the most helpful thing we can do for our spiritual lives is get to bed earlier earlier and wake up refreshed so we're ready for the task god wants us to do that day are you with me this morning when we constantly run on low battery power listen to me it shows in our attitudes I learned that over the weekend. It shows in our attitude and, um, you know, we, we snap at people we weren't supposed to snap at. Mm -hmm. It shows in our behavior. It shows in our relationships. It shows in our performance and it shows in our health. Are you with me today? That's why the Bible talks about the importance of sleep. The Bible addresses sleep. In Psalm 127 and verse 2, it says, it is useless. Listen to this. It is useless for you to work so hard from early morning to late at night, anxiously working for food to eat. For God gives rest to his loved ones. That's Psalm 127 and verse 2. God gives rest to his loved ones. Listen. Psalm 4 and verse 8, put it like this. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. So the Bible addressed rest. The Bible addressed sleeping. Sleep is an act of trust. Listen. Sleep is an act of trust. When we go to sleep, we acknowledge that the world's in God's hand the world in God's hands not our hands when you go to sleep and it will get along very well very very well even if we're not awake to control things and when we wake up the next morning God will give us exactly what we need for the day ahead just like he gave the Israelites fresh manna each day when they were in the desert. It's also hard to pray when you're lacking sleep. So my prayer warriors, let me say this to you. Rest up. Prayer warriors. Hmm. Dow. Rest up. Get some rest. It's hard to pray when you're lacking sleep. Divine Army, I'm speaking to you this morning. When you're lacking sleep, it's hard to pray. Before Elijah was able to spend extended time in prayer, the angel of the Lord made him take not one, but two, two long naps. These weren't power naps now. These were long naps. Contrast that with the disciples in Gethsemane. The disciples in 
Gethsemane who couldn't pray because they kept falling asleep. Anybody hearing me today? Get some rest. It's hard to think when you're not rested. It's hard to feel when you're not resting. It's hard to act like Jesus when you are lacking sleep. That's why the Bible says, God gives rest to his loved ones in Psalm 127 and verse 2. God gives rest to his loved ones. So get some rest, man. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. So my encouragement to you today is that pray for refreshing, restful sleep tonight. Tonight is Monday night. I don't know what you watch. I don't know what you do on your Monday nights. But pray for next year. Monday night is going to be occupied with, with a new program, by the way. Just, you know, me trying to plug a little something, something. I have a new program coming up that, that we're going to be introducing on a Monday night in January. But I want you to pray for refreshing and restful sleep tonight. Ask the Lord to give you rest. Ask the Lord to protect you while you're resting. Ask God to allow you to sleep good tonight. And that's it. That's it. Rest, 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 get some rest, get some rest. I pray this word this morning inspire you. I pray this word to, um, this morning empowered you and uplifted you. As the scriptures have addressed how much we need to get rest, how much we need to get sleep. How important sleep is. How important sleep is. We don't want to be like those disciples who went with Jesus and they're falling asleep on him. Falling asleep. Leaving him alone. Making him feel alone. But get your rest. Prior warriors especially. I want you to be able to be energized to pray. Energized to pray no matter what. So tired should not be an excuse. I am too tired should not be your excuse. Let us get some rest, get some sleep, and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. number one morning show the gospel joy morning show helping you find the joy on the Ladies gospel joy morning show here's what's going down here's what's going down daddy